sometimes you know the assignments that god brings into our life won't make sense just like mary's assignment there are times when god tells you to do things that are absolutely that sound like nonsense to us that sounds like no sense right but if his favor is on us that plan can prosper and so today something that i i just feel like we should ask the lord for is that his purpose will be greater than our, our plans the bible says that his ways are higher his plans are greater and so the more we stick to our plans the more we hold on to our plans we're not making room for his plans to his purpose to come into fruition right so just ask the lord even as we're hearing the word to just god just prepare my heart for your purpose over my plans let his purpose come to pass david there was a shepherd boy in the in the bible named david we all know the story of david david at a very young age was chosen to be king the king of israel he had several brothers but none of them were qualified but there was this one little shepherd boy who was his his only job was to tend his father's sheep he had no kingly qualities nothing to qualify my qualify him as king but he was available you know when when they were looking for someone to fight the giant fight goliath there was this shepherd boy who was willing to to transport food to his brothers who were at war and so because of his availability god used that and he set him apart to be the king but did he become king immediately no there was that waiting period he got the promise he got the promise that he would become king but there was a long waiting period when nothing was happening he was just tending the sheep but while he was tending the sheep there were lions there were bears that came at him to destroy the sheep to kill the sheep and he fought them the bible says that he killed them he tore them apart so this was god preparing him for something greater so he started at the level of a bear and a lion which are, which is not not small in itself that itself is a huge thing and then he goes to fight goliath this this huge man in front of him this huge creature and what does he use to destroy him he uses a slingshot you know there's nothing five stones and a slingshot he had nothing else but it was god preparing him for that moment so um i remember when i the when i joined this this job that i'm at uh there was someone in my in my team who asked me how i feel about this role because it's it's not something that i studied i was completely new to it and so he asked me how i feel about it all and i told him you know honestly i feel like any day i can be kicked out of this role because i'm not i'm not uh, qualified for this i have no experience working in communications which is what i'm doing and this man he said something to me which really like really stayed with me and that's why david is also one of my fa- favorite characters he said that you know he said he basically just told me the story and he said god gave him an assignment even though he called him to be king he did give him an assignment and that was to be that shepherd and until he became the king david faithfully you know uh, faithfully did his assignment he kept serving however god wanted him to serve he sang songs to Saul you know he drove out demons through his music so whatever assignment was given to him he just said yes he said yes to god's plans he was available to do whatever god wanted him to do and that is what you know he he the bible says he's a man after god's own heart what a privilege to to have that title to be a man after god's own heart and so that is that is something that happens when you say yes to god and you're just available god use me as you want take me where you want let let your plans and your purpose be greater than mine that is that is my prayer today and the third point that i have is that god looks for the simple hearted you know we come to him with um all our facts with all our knowledge we tell him god this is how i want you to move you know i i have a plan in my mind it makes total sense to me so just follow my plan but then he comes for the simple hearted and the child like the bible says you know jesus himself as he was sharing stories and mysteries from the word his own disciples would sometimes ask but what does that mean they were the ones that watched jesus minister and do all the things that he did day in and day out he was they were with the master but even they sometimes were baffled they were like how is that possible how do you do this you know and then jesus makes a prayer he says father thank you that you have 
um, hidden these things from the wise and have revealed it to the childlike. It's one of my favorite passages, you know, how, how he reveals his plan and his purpose to those who will say, Lord, I, I'm simple hearted. I'm willing to, to do whatever it is that you're calling me to. Amen. Sometimes saying yes to God makes us look a little silly. And I have a few examples from the, word, from the Bible that I want to read for you. Noah. Noah built an ark, which again, he, it's the first time someone's building an ark. I don't think he knew what an ark was. He was building an ark for something he had no clue about. I don't think they've, I mean, the Bible doesn't mention a flood before the story of Noah. So he didn't know what a flood was, but God told him, build an ark. And he did it. Moses, he only had a stick in front of him, you know, with him in front of the Red Sea. When there was Pharaoh and a whole army coming after them, what did he have? He had a stick with him. Silly. Sarah, she was barren. She was barren and she was given a promise that she would have a child. She, has a, she, she, she was given this promise when she was 90. Or she was given a promise before that, but she had the son at 90. The Israelites, they marched around the walls of Jericho. What did they have? They had a chauffeur, or like a trumpet, you know, that's all they had with them. It looked silly to march around the Jericho walls. David, he went, to, he went at Goliath with just five stones and a slingshot. Esther, she went to the king when she was not called or summoned for. Caleb, at the age of 85, he says, Give me this mountain, let me conquer it. Mary, she's a pregnant virgin. The wise men, they followed a star to see a baby in a manger. Peter steps out of his boat. The woman with the issue of blood, she pushed through the crowd. When there was no answer, she pushed through the crowd and touched the hem of Jesus' garment. Paul and Silas, they start worshipping and praising God in the prison. The boy with the five loaves and two fish, he brings his lunch to Jesus. Jesus, the king of the world, he's hung on a cross, he's mocked scorned, ridiculed, beaten. Doesn't make sense. But you know, there is good news. Because Noah's story doesn't, doesn't end there. He saves his entire family because he answered the call. Moses, he used that same stick to part the Red Sea. Sarah, she birthed Isaac. The Israelites marched around the walls and the walls fell. David defeated Goliath. Esther stopped a Jewish genocide. Caleb, he got Hebron. Mary gave birth to Jesus, the Messiah. The wise men found God. Peter walked with Jesus on the water. The woman with the issue of blood was healed. Paul and Silas, their chains were broken and they brought revival. The boy with the five loaves and two fish, his lunch fed 5,000 plus people. Jesus, the king of the world, he rose from the dead. He defeated hell and death and he holds the keys and his spirit lives in us. So our story sometimes, you know, the assignment that God gives us might look silly. But if you can say yes to him, I promise you it does not end with that. There is a greater purpose for what he is calling you to do. You know, sometimes saying, God, saying yes to God does not make sense until it does. You know, there will come a point where everything will make, make sense and you look back and say, Oh, this is exactly why this, this has happened. And I thank you, God, that you didn't go according to my plans, but you had your way with me. And I'm so happy that I, I have submitted myself to your purpose. Thank you for watching the sermon on our YouTube channel. If you were blessed by the sermon, please do share with your friends and families. We would love to hear how this word has impacted you. I believe that every word has a potential to birth testimonies. So please do check out the comment section below. God bless you.